Welcome back to the channel guys. So like I said in the last video, I didn't correctly record the audio on this one, so I'll be doing a voiceover. So this is Jera. Her shit's awesome. Check her out. Uh, we're going to talk about the top cheaters in the first video we react to from her. So I hope y'all boys are ready. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get it. Let's do the top women cheaters. The top cheaters that are women. Okay. Number one, Jada Pinkett. Why? So I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't even remember what I said. I know I was laughing during the recording, but I don't remember what I said here. So we're going to keep pushing. Dude, you're fucking married to Will Smith, bro. How the fuck? You feel me? August Alcina, I get it. But Will Smith, bro? Whatever. Number two, flight attendants. Do you know how much people they come across every fucking time? Do you know how many, like, what do you call those? Abroad? Foreigners. Do you know how many foreigners? These women are seeing hot as fucking men, dream as men. And number three, FedEx workers. I'm pretty sure here though, I was saying that she's definitely onto something because like flight attendants do travel a lot, so they definitely be getting it on and getting busy and getting busy. FedEx workers was insane though, but I'll ask my little bro because he work at FedEx, so he probably know how they're really moving on that point. And if you think I'm talking really fast, I am. I've never done a voiceover before for, except for today. So lock in. You're driving to who knows who's fucking house, right? Also, anybody that works for like warehouses, FedEx, restaurant, they got a little booth on the side. You never know what's saying to her at her job, bro. Top cheaters right there. Let's do the... All right. So for the rest of this, it's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to let the videos play. I'll add my commentary where I can add it. Because like I said, I did not write a script for this. I just did everything off the top. Sadly, the microphone wasn't working. But I still want you all to hear what she had to say on her videos. Appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure I hit the like button and subscribe as always. Stay this tuned. is going to be controversial advice. But hear me out. If your girl does not respect your feelings, that's not your girl. And you're like, wait, that's not controversial. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hear me out. If your girl, if you tell your girl, like, listen, you know, I don't really like the fact that you're going out with your homegirls every weekend. Like, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Or, like, you don't want to spend time with me, da da da. He's like, oh, you're a man. You have no opinion. Like, shit like that. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Or if you're like, you know what, babe, it makes me feel uncomfortable that you're going out dressed, like, really uh, provocative and you're not going out with me. You're going out with your friends. Like, I'm just worried about your safety. I'm not saying you have the right to say that. I mean, you kind of do. She doesn't have to follow your rules, right? Like, that's different. But you have the right to voice that, and she makes it feel like, oh, you can't tell me what to do, you can't tell me what to, to wear, da 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 Like, you're a man, you have no opinion, whatever. Like, you're being talked. If your girl does not respect your feelings, that is a big issue. Because you guys need to be able to talk about how y'all feel together. If she doesn't really give a fuck about you, she's not going to give a fuck about your feelings, and she will gaslight you how you should be gaslighting her. That was a joke. Maybe. We'll find out soon. Hmm? Toxic. Da -da. And not really hearing you out, not really listening to you, not really trying to compromise, not really trying to come up with a solution. Like, that's not your girl. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty obvious, right? And the thing is with what she said is it's, it's the truth, right? Like if you're dating somebody, y'all are supposed to really be for each other. Compromise is a thing. You got to find that middle ground that makes everybody comfortable. Otherwise, you should just be single. You feel me? And I know here I was just yapping, talking about some. Let's find another video to watch. What looks good? What looks good? She looked good. What looks good? Scroll, scroll, scroll type shit. That's what we was doing in this part. Like most of this would have been edited out, but now we're doing voiceovers. You feel me? Now I'm a voice actor. You feel me? I'm a voice actor now, guys. Thank you for this opportunity. If she's constantly making you feel like you guys are gonna break up, it's because she does not plan to stay with you long term. And actually, it's a tactic to manipulate you, you know? It's kind of like being like, oh, if you do this, I'm going to break up with you. Oh, if you do that, I'm going to break up with you. Uh, obviously, like, constantly making you feel insecure whether this is going to be, like, real or not, whether she's going to stay or not. Constantly keeping you in doubt. She's manipulating you to do what she wants you to do. People don't pick up on these things, but a lot of the time, this could also mean she has someone else. And by her telling you, oh, yeah, I'm going to break up with you if you do this. I'm going to break up if you do that. And then later you find out she's cheating on you. She would very well protect herself saying, oh, well, I told you I was going to break up with you if you did this. Or like, I told you this was going to, you know. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I love, love, love TikTok relationship coaches because I feel like they just be saying whatever. But she's not really wrong. 
If someone is always telling you they're going to break up with you for everything you do, you just need to break up with them. Stop wasting your time. Get up out of there. Get to your bag. Get to your money. Get to the gym. Do what makes you happy. Live a free traveled life and just really enjoy, you know, because there's no reason to stick with that. And again, I'm sorry for the voiceover, but these two videos is getting posted tonight, baby. I got to do it to y'all. Y'all got to just listen to my voice for audio that doesn't match my face at the, at the moment. But look at her face. Sensational, right? It's nice. So enjoy, 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 enjoy. You already know what's happening. People always excuse themselves the best they can. So when they fuck up, they have a reason to do you dirty. But really, they're just fucked up people, you know? So just be aware of that because if she is constantly making you feel like you guys aren't going to break up and constantly making it feel like it's your fault, please run. Get out of there. If she's constantly making... Again here, I was just yapping about what other video to click, what to watch next. Like I was like asking it like I was streaming it live even though I was recording it force a habit but like I said her channel's pretty cool there's a lot of interesting stories she's telling on here you know we get to learn a little bit from the woman's perspective and who doesn't want to learn how women think right how women think right I'm gonna give you goaded ass advice right now I'm having a moment with my hair so please don't ask um ask your girlfriend ask your partner I don't give a fuck right ask your partner ask your girl um, why are you with me? And if they answer with, oh, because you make me feel safe, because you treat me good, because you're so good to me, you're so good to my family, because, and it's all because all the things you do for them, I read this once, this is like an actual fact, right? Not fact and theory, but like psychologically, when somebody really loves you and when somebody's really in love with you, they get joy out of doing things for you, out of making you happy. When you love someone, you want to make that person happy. Okay, so this is fair. This is true. When you like care about somebody, you do want to make sure they're happy and comfortable and cozy and their life's not difficult. That's definitely a thing. So again, like I said, she is sharing a valid perspective. She's not really saying anything too off the mark. But if you're dating somebody and they only seem to like to use you and like that's about it, you got to get out of there, gang. Don't get used, brother. Just don't. There's so much love and affection to be found across the world. You feel me? What my boy Future say? Sensational. You could be living like that. So don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. And happy. Not the other way around. People fucking overlook this shit all the fucking time. If you truly love someone, you are doing things for them. You are not with them for the things they do for you. You are with them for the things you can do for them because that is love. So, that being said, of course, I'm going to be with someone that treats me good and treats my family good and loves me and makes me feel safe, da 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 da, da obviously. But if that's why I'm with them, I don't really love them. If I'm not with them because I like to make them happy, because I like to make them feel safe, because I like to show them that I love them, because I like, you know, because of the things that I provide for them, if I'm not with them for that or those reasons, I don't really love that person. So ask your girl, ask your girl, why are you with me? And if it's all about what you do for her, that is not your girl. This is why. Okay, so during this segment, I was really just saying facts obnoxiously because I was agreeing with her. But you couldn't hear it because, you know, like what I said at the beginning of the video. But she's right. You guys should date people that really care about you. Like, don't don't invest your life in somebody that's not going to invest in you, bro. It doesn't even make any sense. Like, you got to make sure you find the right partner for you. Because otherwise, what are you really doing? And there's nothing wrong with having fun and being a little obnoxious, maybe crashing out here and there. You feel me? Sometimes you got to, you know, get a little toxic, have a little fun. But don't waste your time. You feel me? Don't waste your time. It is what it is. But I'm going to end this video here. It was originally 11 minutes. But I'm going to end it here because you feel me. We're not about to voice over everything. But I appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.